Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather LaBoss and today I'm going to be sharing with you a piece that I've done that has a lot of meaning to me. There's no easy way of saying this, but in the past year and a half I've had a few people in my life pass away. And this piece has a lot of um, relationship to death and I wanted to share it with you guys because sometimes I just like doing that on my channel and uh, looking back at some of my older work. Before I dig into any of the details behind this piece, I want to give you guys a little bit of background about when I made it. Out of all the art classes that I have taken, this one particular teacher I was super intimidated by and she made me very nervous and she kind of had a little bit of a temper so I never wanted to get on her bad side. One time of course I did get on her bad side because I used rubber cement for a collage we were doing and she's very against using anything with um, just like toxic odors and stuff like that which I understand but I don't know I really like rubber cement so I was using it and uh, she got really mad at me. I had to get rid of it and go get some happy paste or whatever. Not to say though that she was a bad teacher. I really liked her. It was nice to have somebody that had a more rigid personality. Fun fact too, this was a summer course so it was extremely fast paced. So for this final project what we had to do was create a story or some type of narrative piece. The concept for this piece came pretty easily to me. At the time I was really heavily interested in becoming a scientific illustrator specifically for birds. I just really wanted to get into this one program that does scientific illustration and I thought that that would be perfect for me and so I was drawing birds thinking about birds all the time and I decided to incorporate this bird little movement that I was going through into this piece. So this is what it looks like. We, well, yeah, here's my piece, you know. There's nothing inside it, it's just this block. We made this little accordion thing in class. Thank the Lord we did that because if I were trying to make this at home, it just would not have worked out. It folds out and I don't know if you'll be able to see this and um, my face is an accordion. It's a story of a little bird's life, but it could really be applied to homo sapiens as well. So I had a lot of fun with this first page. I remember this was one of the first things that I created was the egg. And I did that out of, I used legit stucco that you get at Home Depot. And I put it on a piece of the paper that I wasn't using and um, yeah, it worked out somehow. This paper, this arches paper is really strong. This is cut out and glued on with some non-toxic fume stuff because I kind of thought she might smell my book and get mad at me. I used tissue paper over here for the tree and it's supposed to be spring where, you know, it's happy and this little this little birdie is being born. If you couldn't already tell too, I was very inspired by the art style that was done in Bambi for this specific piece. So uh, if you could see some parallels to that. I was looking at a lot of work that was created for that movie and just getting some inspiration from it. And in the middle of that you have the little bird being formed and I just thought that was a cool little addition to that. And then this happy little bird just pops out and this is probably one of my favorite just scenes because it just it's so happy to me. I used a combination of gouache and watercolor for this outside part and I drew out the details in pencil and I covered them with ink and then I did try to have this cool little transition with uh, a paper looking mark so I took a pen and kind of drew that in and I thought I was so cool for doing that. So the next scene, the bird is growing up and it's trying to fly. The bird falls down and it's winter time. How, you know, perfect set matching the setting or whatever. So the bird is just down and, you know, pretty frustrated because it just wants to fly down it. And then finally it does catch some air and it learns how to fly picked itself back up, oh yes. Honestly, if this was longer, I would probably have it falling down more, just, you know, because that's life, you know, you try to fly, and then you fly, and then you fall, and, you know. So in the next scene, this is probably harder to see, 
But essentially what I was trying to show is that little birdie found a cute little mate and they had some, uh, you know, copulation going on in the tree. And down flies the bird because life is short and uh, the bird passes in the grass here. But then I wanted to end on a more happy note because I wasn't trying to come at this at such a dark angle. I mean, it seems dark, but it's, I don't know. And it's weird because it's all happy painted kind of thing, whatever. That's kind of the story of my life. I drew in these little birds over here that were supposed to represent the children kind of carrying on the journey and just leaving behind a little branch or something to kind of honor the passing of their um, father bird. It sounds so weird to say, but whatever. And that is where, you know, something's growing where uh, the bird was because life continues and nothing's left behind. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know, I was trying to show that there's also beauty in the end, even though it doesn't seem beautiful, but after you're gone, it, it doesn't mean that you're over forever. I mean, it's, yeah, in the classic sense, yes, but you've left something behind and you mattered. Now, let me share some fun stories about the actual creation of this little project. So, I did not have very much time to finish this piece, and as you can see, it was supposed to be a book, and we were supposed to have, you know, a cover on each side, but I think we only had three, no, two days to work on this piece, and that was just impossible. I worked legitimately every second that I had to dedicate to this project. I put in every ounce of my soul into it, and I just remember because I was having so many problems at the time with um, my parents, and I did not want to be here and paint. So what I did was I took all of my crap and I went to Starbucks and I was just painting for hours and hours and hours like some weirdo. I'm not kidding you. And <laughs> I had people sometimes sit next to me and look at what I was creating and now that just think about how weird that is. I'm just sitting in Starbucks painting my little sad thing and somebody came up to me uh, with their girlfriend and he, both of them were very just this cute couple. He was a biker dude and she had on these nice little leather pants or whatever the heck and they sat next to me and he said, oh that's a really interesting piece, what are you working on? And I explained what this piece meant and I just remember the girl saying, wow that is so dark and hmm, interesting and they just kind of had an awkward laugh and they got their Starbucks and left which I thought was really funny. You might be wondering why did you just have the birds cut out and you didn't add any paint to it? I ran out of time. I'm not kidding you. That's what I was planning on doing is painting in each of the little bird wings with detail. But I just didn't have that time and so I was before class still trying to get in my ink details of these little guys and I cut them out and I remember pasting them on before I had class and it was really stressful because <laughs> I was working and spending so much time on the background and trying to like, just get everything the way that I wanted it to in my head and yeah it turned out well uh, in my opinion for two days of hard work and I do enjoy looking at this piece. So there you guys go. I hope that you enjoy watching this video. If you would like to see more videos, I have a whole channel. If you're new and you're just seeing my mug for the first time, you can, you know, click around and, I don't know, dislike all of my videos. Do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> but that is my piece that I wanted to share with you guys because, you know, it was just on my mind and I've been going through some things that just reminded me of this piece in a way, so I just wanted to share it with you, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, take care, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.
Thank you so much again for watching this video. It really means the world to me when I read you guys' comments. I'm just blown away by the fact that you find these videos and enjoy them. I don't know. It just always blows me away. So thank you for that. I have another video coming out really soon as you've seen this intro. It's for my painting tips tutorial. And I also have a vlog coming up. So you guys will be seeing more of me. I'm really trying to be putting out more stuff for you guys because that's really what I love to do and I want to share that with you. I love you guys so much. Take care and have a fabulous day.